What is up everyone? Welcome back to Tribes Ascend Something From Nothing. Concept of the series, if you missed the previous episodes, is I start from level zero, no unlocks, basically a new account, and I'm looking to see both how long it takes me to unlock everything, and also to see how competitive you can be with the default equipment. So it's a dual purpose. And the, uh, the actual videos are going to take the form of highlight reels because I don't want to just post every single match because that would get boring. So I'm trying to cut out as much downtime and as much fluff as possible, leave just, just the good stuff, as it were. So in case you didn't notice from the title of the video, this one is going to be my first few matches as Technician, which I unlocked in the first episode where we did a mixture, second episode was Sentinel, and uh, we're moving on. So what I'm discovering, uh, having now played Technician again, is that Technician is actually pretty strong um, right out of the box. In fact, you'll see that these infiltrators are supposed to be my nightmare, but it must be opposite day or something, because these guys are dropping like flies. I partially you know, chalk that up to me being more experienced, even though I don't have unlocks, I've obviously played longer than some of these people, but uh, still, Technician is very, very capable. The uh, default weapon you get, this SMG here, is actually really strong. For whatever reason, I find myself liking it a lot more than Soldier's Rifle, and I'm not sure exactly why that is. I don't know if it's the fire rate, I suspect it might be. But something about it, I can line it up way better than I can with the uh, the soldier's rifle. And what you'll see is that if you get it lined up, you deal a crazy amount of damage in a short amount of time. So it's pretty good. The uh, secondary is the repair gun. It does what it's meant to do. And in fact, this is the secondary that I stick with most of the time. The one that has increased range is okay, but it doesn't really make that big a difference, in, in my opinion. Now, the main issue that you're going to have with Technician out of the box before you've upgraded anything is uh, that you have to upgrade your turrets by, by playing. And this is something that I brought up, actually, in a previous episode. It's, it's kind of an issue. I don't actually see the reason... Did you just try to shock lance me? Did you just try to... No, no. We do not do that here. At least not yet. Not until I unlock the shock lance. There will be an episode on the shock lance, believe me. Uh, anyways, the the turrets have to be upgraded. And you do this by gaining experience with them, so playing technician, essentially. Unfortunately, what this does is it puts you at an explicit disadvantage right off the bat. You, as a technician starting off, can set down one turret... Someone else who's played Technician for more can set down two. And I don't see the reason for that. Um, other than they can charge XP, you know, to fully upgrade something if you want. It seems like this is something that should be cut out. I mean, there's already enough progression in terms of unlocking equipment. And I had this issue with uh, Sentinel as well. Your rifle will charge slower when you first unlock it versus when you uh, have leveled it up. And same thing with Juggernaut, your health recharge is going to be slower, or rather take longer to go into effect when you haven't leveled it up. So, I don't, I don't know. Look at this damage, by the way. That's a lot of damage. That was a Juggernaut, and I just 50%ed his HP in like two seconds. And again. Pretty strong. Pretty strong. By the way, uh, those of you who are playing Infiltrator and who are beginning players, remember that if the enemy's radar sensor is up, even if you're behind a wall, they can still see your icon, and I get many, many kills. Here's another one. See, I can see his icon even though I can't physically see him, and I just blow him up when he comes around a corner. So remember, friends, stay cloaked and uh, stay alive. Anyways, um... In terms of other stuff, there's Relentless. I don't think I've gotten the Slayer yet since I started this new account. It'll probably happen at some point. It's not it's not that hard to get the Slayer. In fact, the first time I did it was, I think, Technician with a Thumper. So, 
we'll, we'll get there. But um, generally, like I said, I'm finding that Technician is very, very strong and quite fun to play. You're actually pretty flexible. Generally, you will play Technician in a defensive sort of role, either babysitting the generator or sort of setting up defenses on the flag, or both, honestly. Part of the, uh, the beauty of the turrets is that you can set up defenses in one area and be in a different area, and then when, you know, the defenses get triggered, you can run down and, and take care of whatever the problem is in the other area. So that's pretty nice. And once you get two turrets, you can put, say, one on the flag, one in the generator, or you can focus on, you know, one area or the other. You can throw everything on the flag or everything in the generator, or you can split. So it's you're pretty flexible. And honestly... Whoops. Yes. Yes, I am. Honestly, uh, you're pretty good even in an offensive role, as you, you see. I mean, this SMG is just tearing through these people. And the Thumper is even better, in my opinion. The Thumper is one of the strongest weapons in the game. It is so powerful. In fact, that's the main thing that I'm going to be uh, getting when I start buying new equipment as technician. I don't think really anything else is in my standard uh, my standard list of stuff that I use. I don't use the uh, the other turrets, the EXR turrets or whatever. Ooh, that guy thought he could get me. He was wrong. Also, this was really mean. This guy on my team's a high-level player, and he just runs up and melee kills that poor Doombringer. Rest in peace, friend. Rest in peace. Anyways, uh, yeah, pretty much the only thing I, I think I would go out of my way to buy for a technician would be the Thumper. Everything else is already pretty pretty good. Here you can see I've, I've resorted to going into the enemy's generator just because I'm going so uncontested here. <laughs> I'm so strong as technician, I guess. Um, so there's not too much to talk about in terms of uh, equipment. The other alternative to the Thumper is the Rockwind submachine gun, which is even better than this one. It has a slightly lower rate of fire, but the damage on it is just really, really high. So it's, uh, it's a recommended one. I remember using it and being very, very impressed with how much damage you could dish out. Look at this. I mean, I'm wreaking havoc inside their own generator room with Doombringers and Juggernauts coming after me, so that'll give you an idea. That this, this class is pretty strong. Now look at that. That was like half of his health. Anyways, it's probably time to retreat now. So in, uh, in conclusion, as far as the equipment goes, you're pretty well off right off the bat. If you want to get the Thumper or the Rockwind SMG, I would go for one of those because they're both probably better than the, uh, the default. But the default is very strong in its own right. And in terms of the other stuff, it's all going to be personal preference. Um, the longer range repair gun... This is awesome, by the way. Goodbye. That was like from across the map. It's pretty awesome. And then there's this guy. We'll talk about... Uh, not him specifically, but players like him in a moment. Um... The uh, the thing is with the longer range healing that you know heals a little bit slower or repairs a little bit slower. When you're repairing something, you should be jumping around anyway, uh, so it doesn't really matter that much. And then, like I said, the EXR turrets are fun, but I think they're weaker than the regular turrets. So, yep, there's that. So let's talk about another issue. We're going to be um, talking about the important issues in this series, apparently. The previous episode, I talked about team stacking, wherein uh, all the winners from the previous game or all the high-level people purposely join one team over and over, and all the you know low-level people end up on the other side, which results in games just one-sided games that just finish in under five minutes over and over. Don't do it. I talked about it last time. This time, we're going to talk about. Um, high-level people going in and stomping low-level people with the auto-weapons. Now, obviously, I'm using auto-weapons in this, but it's the default gun, and uh, that's all I can do. Specifically, I am talking about people like that other guy who I'm not singling out, but people like him, 
who are level 50, joining into low level games and then running around with like the X1 LMG or the gas rifle and just killing these poor people that have absolutely no chance of resisting. Um, in fact, I've talked about it before, the gas rifle and the X1 LMG are the two guns that I think you could really make a case around saying auto weapons are overpowered. With pretty much any other weapon, someone who's really good with a storm stormtrooper? What? Spin fuser will... <laughs> Although, wouldn't that be interesting? A tribe Star Wars crossover? Uh, getting off topic, let's move on. Uh, anybody else with a spin fuser will be able to kill somebody using this submachine gun. Easily. Can't stay in the air forever, and someone who's really good will be able to, you know, shoot you out of the air. So... There's that, but things like the gas rifle and the X1 LMG, they just do such high damage in such a short amount of time that if somebody who is actually pretty decent at controlling, you know, their flight path and staying above above the ground outside of uh, splash damage range and all that stuff, if they're using it, there is no chance that uh, a lower level person or a person of lower skill is going to kill them, which is fine if it's like, you know, you're using a spin fuser something that takes a little bit more skill. But uh, although it does take skill, as I have addressed, to use an auto weapon in this game, using something like the gas rifle on a much lower level player is kind of cheap. And I'd, I don't appreciate it. You know, if that's if that's your way of having fun, that, that's fine, but I don't know. I did one video with the, uh, the X1 LMG, and then I never used it again, because it was just... It didn't feel good, let's put it that way. It didn't feel right. So, But that's just me. Uh, basically, what I'm saying is don't go in and just stomp a little level people and try hard it. Please don't. As I said, in this, if somebody you know, legitimately just goes for me over and over, obviously I'm going to kill them. But if they, they see me coming and they run, I'm not going to go hunt them down and just repeatedly kill them over and over. That's just mean. Don't do it. Don't do it. Uh, anyways, that's that's all I have to say about that. I'll find some other weird uh, tribes ethics issue to talk about for <laughs> next episode, because obviously this is the most serious business. Regardless, uh, hopping into Beowulf for a while is fun. I, I, don't worry, at some point in the series I will do an episode that's just me going around in a Beowulf, but uh, for now I think we're almost done. Tune in next time for my first few matches as a raider. I think that's the one I have lined up next. And, uh, yeah, I will see you then.